Hello everyone, welcome to Hamden. We're outside the National Stadium, not that uh, you can tell. Uh, myself and Stevie Clifford here ahead of Rangers against Motherwell. Stevie in the Premier Sports Cup semi-final, I think I've said that correctly. Uh, Rangers not in a great place, I think it's fair to say, diplomatically heading into this one. Um, we're going to speak through briefly the team news, the Motherwell team news, and have a little bit of a look ahead to the game. You're going to show me the team so I can read it out. Rangers uh, line up, Butland, Tavernier, Suter, Balogun, Chefty, who comes back in for Kasim Wierzo, Barron and Raskin and Lawrence remain the midfield three. Cherney, Bayrami and Dessers make up the Rangers complement. Kelly, Proper, Diamandi, Dowell, Sterling, Kasim Wierzo, uh, Egaman, Hadji, and Danilo on the bench. So we'll get to the Motherwell team in a minute, Stevie. First thoughts on that is that Clement hasn't tended to, to throw players under the bus or change that much regardless of results. And you might not say he's got a lot to work with at the moment. I thought you might see a little bit more deviation in the midfield. Are you surprised at all that it's only two changes from that performance and result against Aberdeen on Wednesday? No, because I, I don't think he's of the mind to change things. I yeah. think he's quite set in his ways. I think that to make changes, he might feel that Egaman's not ready, maybe Danilo's not ready yet, so the front man can't really change. Could Hadji come in for Lawrence? Well, I'm not sure that he's, he really fancies Hadji. Remember, this is a man that said that Hadji wasn't our, our long number, number longer ten, uh, long-term number 10. So how else does he really change it up? Could he bring in Keen Dowell? But then you bring in Keen Dowell and he doesn't play for four weeks again. So... I'm not sure there's a really obvious thing to do. Would I have changed it up? Yeah, I would have changed it up. But at the same time, I don't, I'm looking at it from his point of view. I don't think he trusts the squad enough the way he has it because he's certainly not changed it previously for us to think that. And I guess what he's doing is, you know, he the, the, the line that came out after Aberdeen was that it was one of Rangers' best performances of the season. Now, while I don't think that was necessarily true, Clement clearly does see within performances at the moment, things he wants to, to build on. So I guess rather than ripping everything up, you know, changing his formation, maybe going with something different at the top end of the pitch, he is sticking with the fact and believing that if things, uh, if, he keep, if Rangers keep doing the same things, eventually they will turn. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens today in that regard. The, the defence probably was always going to remain the same, bar Jeffy coming back in. It was a strange decision that the game Jeffy was rested for was the game against Aberdeen, and no surprise that he comes back into a left-back position that he's made his own so far this season. Yeah, he's been one of the bright spots, I think. Mm -hmm. I think he's been really good. He's got strong pace on the left-hand side, the pace that we don't have in this team in abundance of, certainly. I think he's got a good link-up with Bayrami on that left-hand side as well. And it's now it's a matter of them just trying to get a wee bit more numbers. Mm -hmm. I think the pair of them on the left hand side. Bayrami had a, a magnificent moment during the week and we needed that moment. I'd like to see maybe as well it's difficult because I'd like to see a wee bit more assessing numbers from Bayrami, but he is setting up opportunities, they're not getting taken. Yeah. So it's not necessarily a criticism of him. I'd like to see us be more ruthless, but every single Rangers fan turning up today would like to see us be more ruthless. That's the whole point of it, and this is what this team misses, Joshua, which is that ability to put teams under the sword when they get the pressure. And if you rewind it to Aberdeen, there's two really big moments for us, and these will be why Clement is sticking with it, why Clement sees it, because I think maybe eight, nine, ten minutes, something like that, Ross McCausland plays in Dessers, he takes a touch, he's in on the left-hand side, and he misses. It's he scuffs it, doesn't he? And it's not a clean finish. Second half, 1-1, one, one, Tav gets the byline, whips it across. And at that point, you're just begging for Dessers just to steer it with his foot. He doesn't need to take a touch, he takes a touch. Yeah. And, and Lawrence these, actually missed it at the front post yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. But these are the key moments that Rangers need to turn into numbers, into goals, into these things that are going to take us to a better place. But the problem with that as well is that there's nothing to for us to grab onto that makes us think we can actually be capable of doing it because these are the same things we've been talking about now for months and months and months yeah. and that's a problem today would he like to change Lawrence and Dessers for example I think he probably would would he like Bayrami in his 10 who goes on the left then there's I don't think it's as easy as us just saying here we go again and it is frustrating to a sense but I'm also I do feel a little bit sorry for the manager in terms of the fact that I don't think he's dealing with a lot. Yeah, and options are somewhat limited. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. I think yeah. it's I think it's very easy for us to be critical, and I'm one of the world's worst, but I do think that he's dealing with a really tough deck. 
you not think there's an argument though? You look at that um, front two as well of Lor- uh, Lawrence and Dessers, and you think you need more legs in there. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. How many times you've listened yeah, to me moan about this yeah. for the last six months? And would I change it? Would I put Hadji in? Would I change swap yeah. Dessers out? Yeah, of course I would. But again, there's limited options. But we're so. limited. Danilo's not ready. Yeah. Egamand is not ready. Is he a better? Is he a better sub? I think he probably is. But even yeah. then, he's not shown overly massive amounts. Yeah. Tom Lawrence can still pitch in my goal, even though we know the limitations. So, yeah, I mean, I agree with you completely. It's changes I think all of us would make, mm. but at the same time... Who would you change them for? Exactly. One player who has come back in, uh, Vashlav Cherny, that will be a, a welcome boost for Clement to, to have Chefty and Cherny in, because Chefty gives you pace that that team doesn't mm. have in, in the front four at all. And I think Barami, you saw his quality in midweek. I still think he's trapped by the touchline. When, you see when Rangers don't have the ball in the opposition half, like a game at Ibrox, and that allows him to move in field. When he's out by the touchline, I don't think that's his best position, even if he produced that moment of magic in midweek against Aberdeen. But Vashlav Cherny had five goals in four games, I think. Um, before that injury in midweek and, and that gives Rangers a bit more of a natural balance on the right hand side that they definitely missed in the first half away at Aberdeen and really he's, he's their only informed attacker at the moment maybe you could say Barami's had that moment in, 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 in midweek mm. but Cherney certainly looks to be he was before that knock playing with a confidence that we'd not seen really I would say since that game his debut here against Motherwell where he, he looked really on it he scored that fantastic goal and you thought he's only going to kick on um, T- today that anticipation around him will be quite similar because people have been able to see over the last few weeks that he has got a lot of qualities in the final third Yeah, spot on um, I'm pleased for him because I've said this before and he's somebody that I like but I'm unsure whether or not I like him just because he's out and he's naturally right-sided that's my issue with him and we were crying out for that kind of player yeah. but he has done well he's finishing I think he's a good finisher yeah. saying that We've seen him miss open goals, haven't we, at home to Leon? But I think when he's outside the box, he's, he's capable of whipping the ball in. I think he's capable of striking it well. Maybe I should have said he's one of our better strikers of the ball at yeah, times, because yeah, I think yeah. he is. So, for example, if he had been running in on his left foot like Dessers was after 10 minutes, I think he gets that away. Yeah. Whereas Dessers doesn't manage to get that strike in. So, I, uh, I'm i glad he's in. I absolutely am glad he's in. Look, let's be honest, we're short in quality. Ross McCausland has had a moment away in Malmo and had a pity poor season so far. I don't like to say it, and I'm not wanting to get on his back, and I don't want it to be a case of that, but I think we can say that Cherney brings a different level to that attack yeah, on the right-hand yeah, side. Yeah. So, yeah, would that help Lawrence? Would that help the others? We've got to hope it does, but um, it's up to them to produce today. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we talk about every game being a big game. Every game is a big game, and put the final to a side and who we're playing and everything else, it's a chance to get there. Yeah. Anything can happen in a final. Anything can happen in a one-off game. And Motherwell will fancy this today because they'll yeah. they'll sense yeah. an opportunity which I wouldn't blame them for. So we need to get make sure that we are of the right mind and make sure that we're doing the right things. So just finally, uh, as we open this video with, obviously we'll read the Motherwell team as well, but the anticipation, I'll read the Motherwell team just now if I can get it up in front of me. They go with Oxbra, Coletta, Casey Gordon, Balmer, Seddon, Wilson, Halliday, Miller, Maswan Hero, Ma- Ma- sorry, Maswan Hees and Stamp. how am I pronouncing that, Stevie? Stampilopoulos, I think, Stamilopoulos. Like that, I think yeah. that was good for me. He's very um, quick. Yeah, He's yeah. very fast. He's their danger man. Alongside Lennon, Miller, Lennon yeah, Miller. Lennon Miller, obviously, breaking yeah. from midfield. We're going to have to be wary of that. I think Raskin will pick him up. Yeah. And then that makes sense. But we're going to watch. We're going to have to watch the pace. Balogun, obviously, we're suited at the back. That's probably why they're there. Um, there's a decent balance to that Motherwell team. And, yeah, look, we know that Kettlewell will have them yeah. really well set up. We they're, they're only three points behind Rangers in the league. Yeah, um, yeah. This isn't a league clash, though, thankfully, is it? Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah. You know, look, Motherwell came to Ibrox back in, in March and started this whole thing. Yeah, so we true. know what they're capable of. They gave us a really tough game here at Hamden before as well. So we need to be wary. We need to be on it. And, you know, I didn't like to say it. During the week, it was a toss of the coin to see who wins this today. And unless Rangers up there performance levels of recent weeks it's going to be that again yeah so just finally briefly obviously as we opened the video with mood's not <laughs> mood's not great and it's going to take more than getting into a cup final sure. to lift it loads of questions at the moment loads of pressure on Clement more than he's had to sustain since he came to the club Rangers have what three games before the next international break and I guess without I mean can the mood be lifted before then do you think with with three results and performances I, I think performances matter quite not maybe as much as results, but there's a lot of significance on how Rangers play today as well as obviously getting into the final. The mood could be lifted. 
it can't be recovered, not at this moment in time. So, yeah, I mean, it certainly can be lifted. I think we'd all feel better with a win today, a, a win in Olympiacos, or at very least a very good show and maybe a yeah. point in Olympiacos would you know, bite our hands off and then follow up a victory over Hearts. I think we'd all like that, and I think that would all make us feel better, Joshua, but it's not going to win everybody overall. That needs to come from a sustained period of good form. And whether we like it or not, and I think this is harsh as well because it is, but whether we like it or not, that needs to come with a victory over Celtic at some point. And that's really difficult because I think they're miles ahead. You look at yesterday, they're on fire and they can do that and they're clinical and they have the players. But that's just the excuses when it comes to Philip Clement. He, If we really want to turn the corner and turn the feel-good factor, if they progress today, he'll have two shots at them in two weeks. And that is going to really decide whether or not the faith in him potentially can recover. Mm. If we keep going the way we are now, which is one, two results, bad result, one, two result, bad result, then it'll never ever recover to the levels we need it to be. And that then will force the, the Rangers board to re, well, to have a, a, a rethink of everything that's going on. Okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, remember to subscribe on YouTube if you've not done so already for free and we'll speak to you after the game live from Hamden. Bye for now.